YouTube. YouTube, what is YouTube? Down Home News TV, I'm Dre. And we got a video coming from Law and Crime. Title is Judge Gives Death Sentence to TikTok Famous Killer Wade Wilson. TikTok Famous. So to be honest with y'all, I'm not too, I just started my TikTok. I don't have any photos or anything up yet. I just have a Facebook growing up. I had a MySpace too when I was, when I was younger, but I want to say in 2015, 16, after I got married, I decided to give all up, give up all my social medias and just focus on life, but because it is distracting, man. Facebook, you'll have you scrolling for days. I can only imagine what TikTok does. I mean, I barely get on there. I hop on there and skim through a little bit just to see any videos that would be interesting that I can speak about or post. But anyway, back to the story. I guess I was telling you I really don't know too much about TikTok and who this Wade Wilson person is. But hopefully we will find that out in this video. Let's check it out. All right, let the record reflect that state's president, defense counsel, and the defendant are all present. We're here for sentencing. Was there anything else that the court needed to address prior to sentencing? Is he supposed to be the joker? No, no, no. All right. So I have considered no, all of the testimony and evidence, arguments of counsel, applicable case law, and statutes. I have prepared a written sentencing order, which I'll we'll file contemporaneously with the pronouncement of the sentence here today. <clears throat> I also have copies for the state and defense, which I'll hand out uh, once I conclude. So in the state of Florida like he's having a versus Stephen Wade Wilson, inside. or Wade Stephen Wilson, case number 19 CF 568, <clears throat> the court will read aloud the portion of the sentencing order related to the sentencing circumstances and proportionality. In evaluating the aggravating and mitigating factors, the court does not engage in a mere counting procedure, but instead makes a reasoned judgment based on the totality of the circumstances. In reaching this decision, the court is mindful that because death is a unique punishment in its finality, its application is observed is reserved only for those cases where the most aggravating and least mitigating circumstances exist. The law never requires the imposition of a death sentence. In this case, <clears throat> the totality of the circumstances indicates the defendant with premeditation beat and strangled Christine Melton <clears throat> in her home before stealing her vehicle and driving to meet his girlfriend, Melissa Montanez. After Montanez refused to get into the car with him, the defendant battered her in broad daylight. The defendant told law enforcement, uh, I'm sorry, when Ms. Montanez managed to flee from the defendant, he fled the scene and drove back to Cape Coral where he decided that he would murder another person. He saw Diane Ruiz walking to work and pulled over, pretending to ask for directions. She got into the car to provide directions, but the defendant strangled her when, he tri when she tried to exit. He then drove to an empty lot, strangling her into unconsciousness at least one additional time on the way there. When she tried to flee from the car, he drove over her at least one time, inflicting mortal injuries to her spine, ribs, and neck. The evidence showed that both murders were heinous, atrocious, and cruel, and that the second murder was cold, calculated, and premeditated. The defendant inflicted serious physical and emotional pain to the victims. Moreover, the defendant committed the murders while on probation for prior felony convictions and he committed two first degree murders contemporaneously with each other and with grand theft of motor vehicle, battery, and burglary of a dwelling. There were no statutory mitigating circumstances that were established, but the court considered the non statutory mitigating circumstances presented by the defendant. Out of 13 enumerated non statutory mitigating factors, the court found that 10 had been established. Out of those established, six were given little weight. The totality of the mitigating circumstances indicates that the defendant suffers from drug use from a young age, along with undiagnosed and untreated mental health issues of some kind. 
He felt abandoned by his biological parents, but had a devoted adoptive family who raised him in a supportive and loving environment. Defendant did not resist law enforcement when arrested and confessed fully to both murders. The court has further considered the given and giving great weight to the advisory verdict of the jury, which who recommended that the death penalty be imposed by a vote of nine to three on count one for the murder of Christine Melton and a vote of 10 to two on count four for the murder of Diane Ruiz. The court recognizes that there is no mathematical formula <clears throat> for considering the aggravating and mitigating factors. It is not enough to weigh the number of aggravators against the number of mitigators. The court carefully considered the nature and quality of each aggravator and mitigator. Having reviewed all of the aggravating factors proven beyond a reasonable doubt and all of the mitigating circumstances reasonably established by the evidence, the court finds that the aggravating factors greatly outweigh mitigating circumstances. Given the facts of the case, nothing in defendant's background or mental state would suggest that, it, that a death sentence is inappropriate. This court's review of other reported capital cases has led the court to conclude that the death penalty is not disproportionate in this case. Under the totality of the circumstances and evidence, the court finds no basis to override the jury's verdict. The totality of the circumstances warrants that the defendant, Wade Stephen Wilson, be sentenced to death for each count of first degree murder. Accordingly, it is ordered to judge that the defendant, Wade Stephen Wilson, be sentenced as follows. Count one, first degree murder of Christine Melton. The defendant is hereby sentenced to death. Count two, grand theft of a motor vehicle. The defendant is sentenced to five years imprisonment in the Florida Department of Corrections. Count three, battery. The defendant is hereby sentenced to 364 days in the Lee County Jail. Count four, first degree murder of Diane Ruiz. The defendant is hereby sentenced to death. Count five, the burglary of a dwelling. The defendant is hereby sentenced to 15 years imprisonment in the Florida Department of Corrections. Count six, petty theft. The defendant is hereby sentenced to 364 days in the Lee County Jail. The defendant is given credit for all time served on this case on all counts. All counts are to run concurrent with each other, meaning at the same time. All statutorily mandated fines, fees, and costs as announced on the record are imposed. And the defendant is committed to the custody of the Department of Corrections for execution of this sentence as provided by law. The defendant is hereby notified that these convictions and sentences are subject to automatic review by the Florida Supreme Court. If he cannot afford an attorney to represent him in that, any appeal, the court will appoint one for him. Are there any other matters to present to the court? Briefly, Judge, the state would be seeking $17,500 cost of prosecution. I'm sorry, how much? $17,500, Judge. All right. Any objection? No, sir. All right. That will be imposed then. Any other uh, terms or conditions? Absolutely, Judge. We just want to make sure that Mr. Wilson has absolutely no contact with the victim's family. In this particular There'll be no contact ordered uh, with any of the victim's family members? And anything else? Thank you. All right. Judge, um, I understand he has other cases pending here elsewhere. Mr. Wilson has asked the court within whatever authority you have to get him to death row. Shopping for tires used to really grind my gears. That's before I went gears. to tireact.com. I got the best gears. deal. Okay. Well, in relation to those other cases, I know we have cases pending here in the circuit. Today is not the day to handle those. I would maybe put those, I could do it as early as September 16th. Um, I believe that's uh, Monday morning. That's Malcolm's case. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Malcolm Dowling from uh, Mr. Wade Wilson. September 16th will be five. But okay. Well, I think it'd be more appropriate to handle that at a different time. So let's do that September 16th then at 9 a.m. for the other cases, which are case numbers? 20 CF 16591 and 23 CF 15499. Okay, and we do have, we have court on 16th, right? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Judge, if I may, he also has a BOP warrant out of Broward County, uh, Palm Beach County. <clears throat> I'm gonna get in touch with the authorities over there but if need be, we'll ask the court to ROR him on that BOP warrant so he can be taken up to uh, uh, 
know. Well, it's not a, not a motion in front of me today, but if you certainly are able to file whatever you want to file, and yes, I'll, I'll consider it. Thank you. All right. Uh, anything else? Nothing to say, Judge. All right, sir, then, uh, Mr. Wilson, uh, you will be fingerprinted and remanded uh, to the Sheriff's Department. It will be held without bond and for transport to the Department of Corrections when it's appropriate. If nothing else, then we're adjourned. And I'll give you your copies. Original. Mr. Shirley or Mr. Hollander? Oh. Well, one for the state, one for the defense. Thank you. Well, he took his sentencing like a G, I guess you would say compared to some of the other videos I've seen floating around. I don't know the guy's name that does the reactions to him, but dude's sitting up there crying and throwing temper tantrums for the sentencings, but I commend him for taking it on the chin and taking it like a real man, man. You know, I don't agree with him, obviously, with things that he did, but I give him credit for that, and... Oh, man, that'd be horrible. Well, I guess, I don't know if y'all seen the videos of the sheriff in Florida has been posting all them videos about don't, well, come to Florida, F around and find out. He F around and found out. My condolences to the victim's families. But I honestly think this is just me thinking. I know the Bible says an eye for, well, is it the Bible? An eye for an eye, or is that just a famous quote? But anyway, I believe if you take someone's life, it shouldn't have to give up your own life. That's just me. But uh, now it's going to make me look into his TikToks, unless they deleted them all, wiped them from the internet. But anyway, down home news TV, I'm Dre. Y'all have a good.